Hi there, it's a uh, quarter to six. Um, the weather uh, and the conditions are looking promising. If you like this uh, video and my other videos and this kind of content, make sure to like and uh, subscribe. Hi there, and uh, welcome to another video. It's uh, straight after work, really. I left work at uh, about uh, 2.30, and I drove to this location. It's about uh, two and a half hours. So I came here uh, about uh, six, I think, and I just walked to this location by this small lake. Um, we got um, a, a huge mountains to the, um, straight to the west uh, there. Uh, south, southwest, and um, we got uh, a lot of uh, humidity, a lot of small lakes, and uh, and a damp uh, ground. Um, so I hope for some uh, magic uh, tomorrow morning. But uh, you can't take take it for granted. Um, one weather forecast says no no fog, and another one says uh, a lot of fog. So we'll see. Anyway. Um, I'm just uh, sitting here enjoying the sun and I hope to get some uh, atmosphere in the um, conditions but um, I'm not sure it's looking quite dull uh, a lot of blue skies anyway it's uh, I think it's about uh, maybe just 30 minutes until the sun uh, disappear behind those mountains to the um, to the west there um, so I don't think it's going to be a lot of great photos before sunset, maybe after. It's a lot of, uh, there's some high clouds um, uh, hanging about here and there. So we'll see. Anyway, it's uh, great to be out, out again. Um, it's not uh, often you get uh, autumn colors and uh, this warm weather at the same time. As you can see, we got this uh, beautiful lake here with these uh, grasses in the lake. We got uh, autumn colors. It's um, quite early uh, autumn colors, really. I was uh, a bit surprised when I drove here and, uh, and the first section of the mountain uh, road, all the leaves were actually already blown off. So I, so I thought it maybe uh, was too late, but uh, when I came to this uh, valley, it's uh, it's uh, way earlier, so um, it's some uh, oranges and some reds and so greens too uh, still. So it's kind of early autumn in this uh, valley, but uh, it varies a lot between uh, the different sections of the, of the mountain area. 
So I hope to get some nice light here and uh, get some compositions with the mountains in the background there. The mountains uh, is uh, Rondane National Park. It's looking fantastic. I've been to a lot of um, hikes and wild camps in uh, further into the mountains. Uh, that's uh, really great, but uh, today um, I left to, way too late, so I had to pick a location which is uh, closer to the, to the roads. So maybe uh, later sometime I will go into the Rondane National Park further in and explore. Uh, inside the national parks and inside the uh, mountain areas, it's not that uh, uh, many trees, so the autumn uh, looks very different there. It's, uh, it's more about uh, uh, red colors in the mosses and things like that. Well, that was a very short uh, period with light. I'm obviously in the wrong direction, in the direction of the sun, but anyway. Oh, this is really strange. It's uh, looking to be uh, red colors in the in the sky and the clouds uh, soon. But uh, over there, behind those uh, the nicest mountains in the area, there's nothing. Just blue skies. I show you. Well, the sunset uh, is in uh, five minutes. Uh, it didn't look very promising in the beginning. Uh, the light was very harsh and I struggled to find some composition when it's only blue skies. But uh, after a while it came more high clouds like that and the light got uh, quite good actually. Um, not like blistering, but uh, I think it's still going to be uh, develop into some more red hues so we're gonna watch out so this is the reason why I uh, returned to this location in Drondane I think I've been there uh, three or four times now after I began my photography journey um, it's always nice to be here and it's also always um, um, kind of surprising how the condition will be um, this time it's not that good uh, so far, but I'm really hoping uh, that tomorrow morning there'll be some uh, mist or fog on the lakes and, uh, and the wet areas around this uh, location. So I, I thought it was very difficult to make up my mind where to go, but uh, Rondane, it's always uh, something to, to have there.
this was very good. It is uh, Thai red curry. Tastes good. A bit strong. So that's nice. Well, that was a nice uh, night stroll. It's actually very warm still. Um, very nice. It's uh, very natural. It's like it's uh, coming warm air in the uh, late night. It's it's soon 11 o'clock. Well, well. I think it's. I think it's time to. Um, go to bed um, I'm gonna have the alarm on 6.30 I think um, in case there is uh, magic in the air tomorrow morning I'm not sure there seems to be a lot of uh, humidity in the air uh, even though it's uh, it's uh, clear skies I can see the skies and the mil Milky Way and everything but there is some mist uh, over the mountains. Good night. Hi there, it's a uh, quarter to six. Um, the weather uh, and the conditions are looking promising. No fog or real mist yet, but it can come later when, the, when it gets warmer and some light. There's some clouds to the, um, the west again. No clouds in the direction of uh, Rondane. The colors are in uh, that direction so far. So I might uh, get uh, long lengths and try and shoot some, some photos in that direction, I think. This is looking quite beautiful with the reflections in the water. The water is uh, almost completely still, just some ripples. And I use the case filters to um, even out those uh, small ripples with a few seconds uh, exposure time. This is magic. There's the sun rising from the from the east. Look 
looking great. Ah, great light now. Uh, great light on all the mountains, but uh, way too less uh, to little clouds, unfortunately, but uh, the light through these uh, autumn trees are great. The, uh, the sunlight peeked through those uh, orange hues and it looks great. I think I'll have to take some picture into the trees to get that, to get that glow. Beautiful, isn't it? And it's very hot, actually. The sun is really warming. I'm, on, and I'm quite uh, sweaty right now, too much clothes, but uh, don't have the time to change, really. <laughs> Looking real nice. The, um, the sunrise wasn't spectacular. It, wasn't, uh, it was way too less uh, clouds, but the, but the light itself is very beautiful. And, uh, and uh, there's actually some uh, clouds over the mountains there, Storonten, Högeronten, uh, even though they, they don't have colors, but it's still, uh, it's still uh, golden hours, so the, the light is uh, quite nice. The golden hour is, um, is until... Uh, Yeah, it's uh, until about now, um, three minutes with great light, so we have to take advantage of it. It's still great light. <coughs> you can't beat these reflections and, uh, and the golden light on these grasses. It's beautiful.
Look at this beautiful scene, uh, even though it's past the uh, golden hour. And even if it's uh, still early autumn in this valley. Shame about the lack of clothes though. But that, uh, that's the way it is this time. But to show you how uh, different uh, this uh, location and Rondane in this uh, valley uh, can be, um, I'll show you some scenes and some photos from a trip I did uh, last autumn. I uh, well camped just uh, about uh, one kilometer that direction by another lake. And I got way different uh, conditions, both uh, weather, a lot of clothes. It was uh, some um, mist in the air. And when the sunrise kicked off, it was uh, totally magic. The whole, uh, the whole thing here was red, even the mountains and the clouds and everything. So here's those things. The first uh, wild camp I um, did in Rondane after I began my photography journey, I think was about four years ago now, three, three or four years. That was uh, uh, further in to the um, national park. Um, I think I walked about uh, maybe seven kilometers into the valley and then camped. And then it was very different conditions and weather. Um, so I'll show you some uh, photos from that uh, trip too. That was before I began to uh, film a little bit for my, uh, uh, from my hikes and wild camps. So here's some uh, photos from that trip. So it's a quarter to nine now. Um, the good light is uh, beginning to fade away. I'm uh, thinking of having some food now and uh, maybe have a little nap before uh, moving on. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a night, another night or if I'm going home. Um, it really depends a little bit on the weather forecast. Uh, and in this valley there's no mobile signal, so I haven't checked the uh, weather forecast and uh, other things yet. So that have to be decided uh, later today, I think. 
Um, but I'm not so tired yet after this night. I got some sleep. Uh, I, I think I slept from uh, 11 until maybe 3 and then I uh, woke up and uh, just uh, had a few naps uh, until the alarm uh, went off. Or I uh, waked up before the alarm really. Uh, half past uh, 5 I think it was. So we'll see. But um, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and uh, the photos from this trip. And uh, if they don't turn out that great, I uh, think I'm gonna add other videos from uh, uh, earlier hikes and wild camps, as I said earlier. Um, both videos and some uh, photos to sh uh, to showcase the the huge difference uh, in. Um, weather and the mood and overall atmosphere um, it varies a lot this time it was kind of blue skies and uh, light direct sunlight last time i were here it was a lot of clouds and uh, uh, it was more dramatic it was uh, very moody the whole sky and those mountains around there were all lit up in red red colors but it only lasted for about uh, 50 minutes so, yeah, but um, if this is the last last, um, last um, section or part of this video, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you later. Um, if you like this uh, video and uh, my other videos and like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe and give me a comment. That would really uh, help the channel out. Appreciate it. So, until next time, see you.